Hi guys, it's Hippie from the future to tell you that this is part 2 of my March vlog. You, I'll link the previous vlog in the description, so start watching that one if you have a little bit of time to watch two vlogs, but if that's too long for you, you can also just watch this vlog. In the previous vlog, I made my set for the first pattern ever I'm writing, and in this vlog, I'll also do a lot of fun stuff, and also go thrifting, and go to an art museum and stuff like that. So get cozy, get a drink, get something to eat, and enjoy this vlog! I wanted to show that I've been working on this cardigan. This took me 8 hours to do, but I love it so much. The design that I'm gonna do in this video, or start in this video, is quite simple for me. Like, the look of it is quite simple. Um, I'm very used to making statement pieces or I don't really know how to explain it but this looks quite neutral to me at least but so beautiful so I'm very excited to make it this took me eight hours and now I'm busy with the other side I'm guessing this project will take me about 60 hours for the cardigan alone and then I also want to make the matching skirt so it's gonna take me forever now I'm gonna I think start in the a Google Docs for my pattern. I might adjust in Stitch Fiddle a little bit and then in the afternoon I might go to the thrift store because a good friend of mine who saw my previous vlog <laughs> saw a few items that she would really like to have that I didn't buy so I, I'm gonna probably go back to the thrift store to see if they still have those items. Let's go with writing the pattern. <laughs> She's basically sleeping in my arms while I'm trying to write this pattern. It's a little bit difficult. <laughs> in the thrift store I bought this shell trinket because I have other shell trinkets at home. I also bought this gingham fabric because obviously I found this fabric that my friend saw in my previous vlog and she really wanted to have it so I bought it for her. I found so many lace fabrics and filet crochet look fabrics and I had to buy them all because I have many ideas for this type of fabric. This mini dress was so cute but the beige kind of washed out my face so sadly enough I didn't buy it. I look like a Greek goddess or something here but I think these items would be very nice for underneath a corset or other top. This green dress was stunning, but it wasn't super flattering to my surprise. And then this dress I obviously had to have because of the gingham and the flowers. <laughs> okay guys, I think I need to undo all of this, which is probably like more than an hour of work. Because it's just not totally mirrored. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but this goes way higher than here. So I must have done something wrong and I'm gonna have to undo all of this, but it's so difficult to do the exact same things as I did with this side. I don't know why. First, I want to show my outfit. I'm wearing the top and the skirt that I bought yesterday at the thrift store. And then this little sweater vest thingy. I'm thinking if my first pattern is finished, I could start writing a pattern for this because it's not too difficult but a little bit more difficult than the vest I'm working on currently but I'm already thinking too far in the future because obviously my first pattern still needs to be tested and everything. We went for a very long walk, I think more than two hours because Ewig wanted to do the Pokemon community day and I just dressed up and asked him to take some pictures so here are some pictures if you're interested and I also bought loads of colored socks because I also really want Mary Jane shoes these type of shoes and I've seen a lot of people wearing these shoes or black sandals with colorful socks that match the outfit and yeah I just bought a lot of them I actually also wanted red socks and the red socks aren't included so one day I'll have to look for red socks I'm very much in my fashion era again I feel like I 
I wanted to make a drawing of a unicorn based on my tattoo-like style but with a background and I don't know what to think about it but it gives Lisa Frank vibes which of course is amazing I just feel like it doesn't really fit my style that well I have been struggling so much lately with having a consistent style and I think that's because I don't draw often at all, I never make sketches and besides that I get inspired by so many different artists and art styles. Hey guys, please ignore my pyjama t-shirt but this is what I have so far, I'll have to redo the armholes because they're a little bit too tight but I mean... It looks cute so far, I think. How long has this been taking me? Let me just check. This has taken me 30 hours so far, which is insane. And I still need to do a whole pair of set of sleeves. Guys, my pattern currently is 43 pages long. It's a lot of pages, but I need to resize some images it is a lot and it's almost completely finished and next week i'm gonna reach out to everyone who's interested for pattern testing so yeah i'm very excited and also kind of scared that i made an error in my patterns but i guess i'll see that's what pattern testing is for after all i'm wearing my overalls i made last year with a new top that i ordered on vented I have been shopping secondhand so much lately. It's just like a very frilly checkered top. I love it so much. Wearing a matching scrunchie. I don't know if you can see it. Today I'm gonna meet up with some friends and we're going to um, an art museum and chill and hang out. It is very late you guys, I need to go to sleep but I wanted to show you this blouse that I also got on Vinted. I got this blouse on Vinted as well because I wanted to wear it under my smiley vest and skirt. Mm, baby! One of my friends that I saw today, she went to the thrift store for me as well. I gave her the clown blankie and she bought this for me and I'm not the biggest fan of the top. So I'm, I, I think I'm gonna make it into a skirt because this is so beautiful. It has a lot of nice lace accents. It is so pretty. I'm gonna make this into a skirt in an upcoming video. And then she also bought this um, sheet for me. And I'm gonna make it into a skirt, maybe a very gathered skirt. It reminded me of those patchwork skirts that are very much trendy right now. So I want to make this into a skirt or I don't know, a dress, a cute outfit because it is quite big. Um, but yeah, that's also for an upcoming video. I have been thrifting so much this month, maybe a little bit too much. I'll have to calm down in the future. We are at a show now and it's mainly for Evert because I'm not really into bands that much but currently I am <laughs> skipping one band to sit in the car and crochet because I haven't had that time today to do anything with my special interests and I don't know I just need my autistic me time uh, so I'll go back in a second <laughs> But yeah, he is very much into bands and he also has a band. So of course I want to support him and sometimes 
join to go to a show um but yeah i'm taking a little break now <laughs> Which is kind of ridiculous, but I need balance in my life, okay? I haven't had time to crochet all day. <laughs> hey guys, I'm chilling on the couch with Mona. The smoothie I made this morning. I'm busy with my first sleeve, it's almost done and then I only need to do the second sleeve. By the way, don't mind this, this is dirty because we're renovating so the white couch is very dirty. And I just published my tester call form. I'll let people submit for about one week. I'll also advertise it a lot. And this is my form, I think it asks everything I need to know from potential pattern testers and I already have three responses which is insane to me that's so quick it's only online for about an hour maybe um, yeah I asked for the chest measurement then if you're agreeing to everything if you want a group chat with whatsapp or discord and yeah just what your skill level is links to your social media and stuff like that so yeah let's wait for about a week and then we can oh we... suddenly we have four responses this is going so quickly but i did message a lot of people with the link a lot of people that showed interest mm. guys i'm feeling a little bit ill i have a headache so i hope i don't get a cold or anything but i wanted to show you the sleeve is perfect it's so cute and i also made some holes in the ribbing here i will buy buttons maybe this week or next week depending on if i get ill or not or if i have enough energy but it already looks so cute now i only need to do the other sleeve which will take me a few hours again but then this will finally be finished this little project this little cardigan and then i also need to do the skirt the matching cable the matching cable skirt but i don't know if i'm gonna do it immediately afterwards because i also need to do some crochet projects for other videos and i also want to maybe add some frilly details just like with the skirt i'll show a picture here i really like the frilly accents on the skirt so maybe i want to add some on this cardigan as well maybe at the bottom yeah this is very cute this has been taking me forever already i'll be so happy when it's done <laughs> it looks very very cute oh and this is the back by the way yay <laughs> I already started on some posters for my art exposition, although I still had no idea about the location. So also not if I would have room to display some 3D objects. I just filmed a video trying on all the items I made so far this year and Mona just is the cherry on top and but I actually have to clean up all these clothing now and put them back in, in my closet. <laughs> Sorry Mona. guys you made it to the end of this very long vlog at least i think it will be very long because i filmed for almost a full month which i usually don't really do so i really hope you enjoyed this video by the way today i had a job coach meeting and in a few days i might start a new internship again throughout my videos throughout my videos i keep saying that i'm not working at the moment and that i'll have a job soon but it's actually a very slow process and first i'll do an internship probably at a hobby store so that will be working in, a, in the store the hobby shop and maybe also um, helping with some workshops for children like creative workshops so i'm very excited for that also very nervous because 
I am very scared of, of change. I'm very used to my uh, schedule now that's just full-time working for YouTube and my art and crocheting. So I am kind of nervous about the change. So please wish me luck in the comments. And yeah, I'll see... Oh, bye! <laughs> Another thing, this is the outro, but I have so much info. Uh, I still don't know the location for the exposition, exposition I'll be showing my art at. So I wasn't able to prepare that much for the exposition because I first kind of want to know if I'll only have the window to show my art at or also a bit of the inside location so that, that I can give my business cards and maybe some free stickers. And yeah, I'm still very confused about ex exposition, but it's in a month. And yeah, I guess you'll have to stick to see next month's vlog to see me prep a bit more for this exposition and also do the ex actual exposition. So setting up everything and visiting it. Definitely subscribe if you want to see the April vlog and my expo and more art as usual. So yeah, I'll see you in next week's video. Have a good day or night. Bye bye.